Hey guys, I hope you all are doing great. This is Malkan. Welcome back to another video. So right now fall season is going on, but fall lasted a little less because winter started very soon. And you can see behind me these amazing looking trees which has turned yellow or golden brown. So today in this video, I will be talking about the recent news related to the IELTS examination and I'm pretty sure you're going to like this news because this is the news which everyone is waiting for and let me just break in the news to you which is that IELTS is going to start with one skill retake isn't that an amazing news well yes it is a very good news so I will be discussing all the details related to this news and I'm pretty sure everyone must be excited by just the sentence that I just told you about which is IELTS is going to get started with one skill retake so I'll be explaining about this in detail in this video so let's get started well guys right now it is four degrees here and it's really very cold my hands are starting to freeze but still I will continue and finish this video today so I understand guys it is very difficult to achieve the desired band score which is a triple seven. I know that's what everybody aims at to achieve the golden score, the golden score of IELTS, but it is sometimes very difficult to achieve. Many times we are able to achieve even more than that, but sometimes what happens just in one skill, we end up having 0.5 band less. And we all know which skill that is writing of course i have faced the same issue with my ielts when i was applying for my pr in the first attempt when we missed by 0.5 band since we missed the section by just 0.5 so we have to appear for the whole exam again and i understand it's kind of a very big pain in life no one wants to do that i have gone through the same pain and i was angriest you can say because i didn't want to appear for the exam again but guys let me tell you what we have been thinking of has now become reality and IELTS is starting the one skill retake exam as in there are four skill listening reading writing and speaking and suppose you score good in listening reading and speaking and you just missed out in writing or in speaking by 0.5 band so you can appear for only one skill again you don't have to prepare for all the skills all over again isn't that amazing and i feel it's game changing <laughs> it's it's really a game changing thing and i am super happy about it it feels like somebody just uh, told dr strange to convey all these emotions of all the candidates to ielts and they just played mind games with them <laughs> let me tell you my ielts exam experience so when i appear for ielts uh, in the first attempt in listening i got 8.5 in reading i got uh, 8 in speaking i got 8.5 and in writing i got 6.5 that's really crushing and when i got the result i was so excited to see the result because i knew i have you know appeared really well i have given 200 percent in the exam but when the result came i was very disheartened and i was the angriest of all i didn't want to appear for this thing again i started researching and i found that you know we can do the revaluation so i even went for the revaluation but nothing came out so revaluation is something which you shouldn't do in listening writing there's nothing that's going to come out uh, maybe in writing or speaking but i tried in writing and it didn't increase the band and when i received the score all i wanted to do was give them a call and uh, you know just tell them that your assessment is wrong i know i have appeared really well i couldn't do that i applied for the revaluation but there was no outcome it was still 6.5 in writing only then what i had to do i had to prepare for the exam all over again and give the exam and i had the same i had to go through the same uh, difficulties and you never know if you will be able to score really well in your next exam in listening which is eight you never know if it's going to happen or not or maybe in reading so it's kind of uh, i was really in dilemma but i appeared and luckily i scored 
the golden band more than the golden score. I am here today in Canada with my PR. But still there are difficulties and many of you are not able to achieve the desired score. And let me tell you guys, there was also a time when I was doing this on purpose, you know, just like my case. In all the three skills, everyone was getting more than eight bands, but just in writing or in speaking, they're getting just 0.5 band less. It was like a money making business they were doing and everybody felt it the same way because even after the evaluation, there was no outcome. So um, there was the, it was not just disheartening for me, it was disheartening for everybody out there. And of course, when you appear for the whole exam again, you have to pay the entire fees. But now the idea has come, which everyone has been talking about. And I think it was a feedback which IELTS received that, uh, you know, you should, you know, just appearing for one skill all over again and you don't have to prepare for all the skills again. And I guess they have finalized this decision and it is going to start from November and uh, it, uh, it has already started in some parts of Australia. It is gradually going to come and get inculcated gradually in other countries as well. So now if you are appearing for IELTS, after it has been inculcated, you don't have to worry about, you know, if you have a 0.5 band less in one of the section, you don't have to worry that you have, you will have to retake all the exam again. Uh, you can just give one skill and I'm so happy to share this news with all of you. The most important thing is it's happening. We don't know when this is going to start, but the news has come and it is going to happen very soon. Now, there are a few questions that comes in mind of what about the fees of each skill. So it is yet to be disclosed. Nobody knows how much. Of course, there's going to be a fee. It's not going to be free of charge for sure about in how much time you can reappear and retake. That's also going to be disclosed. What about the scores? If you are not able to achieve the desired band score, will your previous result be considered? Well, all these things are going to be disclosed very soon. And also, how many times can you retake the exam? So all these details, that's uh, that's a question mark with me and with all of you. All these details are to be disclosed very soon in my upcoming video. So stay tuned if you want to know the details about the IELTS one skill retake. And what do you think about this? You can let me know in the comment section below. If you were a victim, I would say, of a 0.5 band less in any of the skill, you can also let me know your score in the comment section below. Now guys, let me tell you one thing. This thing is going to come. This is going to happen in near future so i would like to share a few tips with you which helped me get the desired band which you can see a, more than a golden score in any of the skill which in which you lack 0.5 band less so let me just tell you one thing suppose you appeared on 1st of november and your result came if you uh, if you appeared for a computer-based test, it will come in five working days. And if you appeared for a paper-based test, it will come in 14 to 15 working days. So suppose your results came in a week's time and um, you know, you got a 0.5 band less. So let me tell you guys one thing, do not rush. Do not rush, just take a break. Just chill yourself because I know you are angry right now, but do not take any decisions at that moment to just go ahead and book one skill again just take a break read your entire assessment entirely and then prepare yourself there are mock tests available online so you can practice and give your test accordingly english is something which cannot be learned it is a skill which comes over time with your with due practice so you have to practice that duly and thoroughly and of course guys you have to make this a priority i know you all are working professional but is it, it is really important that you make it a habit to practice it on a daily basis so that you're fluent enough you get the desired score it is very important to know what went wrong so i would request you to read the entire assessment in detail and understand which part you went wrong and practice that section on a regular basis and of course do not forget to practice other sections as well because it is equally important otherwise you may be able to clear this section but you may just make a mistake in different sections so it is really important that you create a balance between both all the sections and work on the weaker areas which needs improvement and like i told you guys english 
is a skill. It comes over time. You, it comes with due practice. So we also help you prepare for the examination. So if you are interested in getting our help, you can just email me on this email ID and I will be very happy to assist you. And of course, it is very important to get the desired band score. So that's it guys from today. These were few details related to the recent news related to IELTS, which I wanted to share with you because I was happier to hear this news and I was really excited to share this news with you because I have been uh, you know in the same situation if you are uh, watching this video and I have been in the same situation earlier and if you have also been in the same situation you can let me know in the comment section below I will be happy to assist you and help you out so thank you guys for watching this video I hope this video was informational to you if you have any questions related to the process you can let me know in the comment section below and you can also email me I can handle your file if you want thank you so much guys for watching I hope to see you very soon see you guys bye bye